Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to connect a third-party domain to your Squarespace site. Basically a third-party domain is the domain that you purchased outside of Squarespace using a provider like Namecheap or GoDaddy or I don't know name.com or one and one and I don't know any any other provider that is in Squarespace. So I'm on my client's website and by the way if you need a copywriter uh, I'm doing the shameless plug for her hire her because she's really really good and we'll be connecting the domain that she just purchased to her site. Uh, once you log into your Squarespace site you're going to go into settings and then domains and then you're going to click on use a domain I own and you'll start with uh, email to the max.com basically you're enter you will enter your domain name then click on continue and then you're going to click on connect from provider. It'll already pre-select, uh, it'll detect which provider you're using, but in the event that it's not the one you're using, you can select it uh, from this list right here. And then you're going to click on connect domain. It'll give you a notification that it's connecting. And now here comes the fun part. You need to enter all of this into your um, uh, DNS settings with your domain provider. So to do that, uh, once you log into your domain provider, whoever it may be, we are going to be connecting this domain email to the max. You're going to click on manage and I know that some of you may not use Namecheaps, but just look for, uh, for a management portion of uh, your, dash your provider's dashboard and then look for advanced DNS. This may also be called DNS settings or um, advanced DNS or something like that so just look for something that has DNS or name server settings or yeah that's the most common names that you're going to find so once you're you get there you'll click on advanced DNS and now you're going to start adding records for it so uh, you already will have some records right here you can edit the existing ones or you can delete them and start from scratch so we're going to click on add new record and then we're going to go with the CNAME record, which is right this. So first you're going to paste this host information and enter it right here. And then for the target, you're going to enter what it says under required data. You'll leave the settings as automatic and click this green check mark or click to save pages or however it tells you, save changes or however it tells you. And then you'll go down the list. So now we have the www record and we need to add this as the target. So we're going to delete this record and add a new one and click on save changes. And now we are adding the IP addresses. So let's start off with the first one. The se these are the A records. So now you're choosing add new record and now A. Host is always an add and then you enter the IP address and again save changes. And then once you have that, you can delete this one, add new one, another A record. So now we're adding this IP address and click save. One more time, the same thing. Now one more time, we're adding the A record and the third IP address. Again, save the changes. And the last one, whoops, A record, host is at and A IP address. And then you save the changes. So once that's done, you can click on refresh and it'll start connecting your domain. Now usually this takes anywhere between 24 and 72 hours and you can always test the connection by clicking this button and then right now it's still not connected so it's using one of her other domains but basically once it connects you'll be able to see the the correct domain name. See it says connection in progress. Now if you're using multiple domains you're going to click on make primary domain and just so because that's the domain name that, that it will be used when somebody types in to visit your site. If you even connect a different domain like she has multiple domain uh, names they will always see that first primary domain name. So for example if somebody types in uh, Dre Effect or copy to the max they will still land on email to the max.com because that's her primary domain name. So yeah, that's basically it. And that's how you connect the third party domain to your Squarespace site. I hope this helps you. And if you like this video, click the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.